Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to little my god is real big stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to capping them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two wrists they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing! The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the ground on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying to little my god is real big stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big i gotta do it big good evening and welcome everyone to the fall 2021 season week number three of the eastern college atlantic conference esports season my name is albert lauren haley the third it's my pleasure to be casting with matt septlins corfee for the first time i i know you've had a an interesting weekend how, how you doing Seth? I'm doing all right. That was the first time my co-casters ever used my full name, so that was an interesting <laughs> experience. But it's it was right it was a there. cool one at that. And yeah, you, you're definitely right. It's right above me. But uh, yeah, I was telling Lauren before this. I'm recently back from a land back as in like I just got back to my own house this morning. So I'm gonna be a little lower volume today, and my throat is still in mild recovery. But either way, I'm excited to do this because we've got two schools that I have never seen before, or if I have, it's 
been a, it's been a minute. So I'm very excited to see these new rosters. It's Carroll University up against Buena Vista University, or they will be referred to probably as BVU for the rest of this. But Lauren, we're starting with a stage. We already know that. We have no information about these characters. There's almost 100 <laughs> to choose from. But I'm still going to ask you, with Final Destination being the first stage chosen, does any character kind of pop into your mind straight away? Anyone that's really good at edge guarding. Um, anytime I, I feel you select Final Destination at the competitive level, that's always going to be a compelling reason yeah. and option. That means you're also playing a, playing a character that isn't too worried about getting back to the stage themselves. So anyone with a really good recovery, we're probably going to see that. I'm really excited to see both of these teams play because Carroll University, it, this is their second season. They've doubled their roster since the first time around, and they even have a coach. So see you. They're they're taking this pretty seriously. And on the other side of that, we have the newcomers in in yeah. Buena Vista University, who are kind of the wild card since they are new. Um, I didn't get a chance to see how they've done so far in the season, but they've had two weeks now to kind of sharpen things up, yeah, make any adjustments that they need to. So I think we're gonna see two really good teams firing on all cylinders tonight. I'm excited, man. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean, that's all we can hope for, right? In a collegiate kind of experience like this one is we can only hope that everybody brings their 110, 150%. And for the win-loss ratios, I know these teams are definitely going to be fighting to put just one more in that W slot. And I think my favorite thing about tonight is I learned that Carroll University, they have weekly Dungeons & Dragons sessions to improve team morale. And I thought that was very fun as a Dungeons & Dragons player. I thought that was super awesome. I just, I, I don't know how far team morale goes in a single-player <laughs> matchup game like Smash Bros, but I love the attempt nonetheless. It's for the crew, man. Plus five, the of team course. around. Right on the character sheet. Let's get into game number one. So this is a crew battle format. Each player on each team gets three stocks. And the first team that loses all their stocks loses the game. And then it's a best of three on top of that. And it looks like we're going to be jumping right into it with uh, Pikachu and Min Min. I thought we would see some interesting edge guarding on Final Destination and the, and the noodle arms come out. Yeah, so definitely a, probably a bit of inspiration here on the side of BVU from a certain smash uh, mega event that just ended with a Pikachu victory, including a zero <laughs> to death, two of them, I believe. So maybe they're trying to bring out that same energy. But, Carol, they know exactly where Min Min stands on that. And ever since, you know, ever since we've been returning to in-person events, Min Min has been doing nothing but climbing tier lists. And that guy, 5151, trying to show us why she belongs at the top. And KK Struggling a little bit to get back to the stage. Oh, the up B. Not going to be able to get to the second one. So down to their last stock. That guy, 51-51. They've got to feel pretty good about their chances to be able to close the first game out. It's the grab for throw. All right, KK is getting back on the offense. Yeah, this is going to be a, quite the interesting matchup here. I think you were spot on. You talked about somebody great at ledge guarding, somebody great at covering stage. And, I mean, we got Min Min as one of the characters. So I, I think you hit the nail right on the head there, Haloran. It's going to be a pretty aggressive forward smash trying to catch out the recovery. But I think it was the iframes that caught it out. It may have been the short hop at the end there, but I didn't quite catch which one. KK, final stock already. That guy, I mean, not even 70% yet. I, this has been a very one-sided matchup because Min Min, her arms cover the entire stage. And there's nowhere else to stand. KK just really struggling to engage. Oh, that's going to be it. Meatball to the Pikachu face closes out the, the first three members, the th first three stocks for, for BVU. Uh, that guy, 5151, the, the Min Min is inspiring me to not want to go back to Final Destination if I had anything to say about it. <laughs> if I'm on the yeah. side of BVU, just insane edge guarding, never really able to find your footing anywhere because those arms are coming from downtown. Just a lot of pressure. I think the two seasons and a coach and a lot of training yeah. is starting to pay off right now. I mean, you say those arms are coming from downtown. Those arms are coming from a couple of states over at that point, covering <laughs> the entire stage, absolutely nowhere to stand. And I think, you know, if we see that same matchup, just a little bit of, uh, I don't want to call it advice, but something I'd like to see a little bit different from KK, just more utilization of the neutral B. I feel like this kind of a uh, very important ability to use as a Pikachu player, neutral B opens up a lot of engagement and can help you kind of get back on stage. I think that really would have made a big difference. But I do also want to throw out that I've cast a decent amount of smash. Believe it or not, that's the first mid -min I've ever seen. And in the same time, probably the fastest 3v3 <laughs> or 1v1 three stock game that I've ever cast. It, it, was a, it was a blink and you miss it affair for sure. Yeah. I, I definitely agree. I, I do think that if KK runs into the mid -min again over the course of the best of three, using that Thunder Jolt, just doing anything to, to take that guy off of their game. Because it just right. seemed like Absolutely. that guy just was in full control. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and they were able to execute. The, the sooner you're able to take that away from your opponent, regardless of the character, you're gonna be able to do a lot better. But the two remaining teams, team members of BVU, 
have seen what they have to deal with now so they can make some adjustments do do they stay on the same stage throughout the entire like game quote unquote for the nine stocks I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I don't think I would personally. I mean, I'm a I Pac Man player, and going against the Midmen like that, I'd still be scared to pick Final <laughs> Destination. That that would be. Uh, I don't know if the, if the rest can if the rest of Carol can play FD the way that this Midmen player the, the way that that guy just did. I I don't know how you get around that. <laughs> oh no way! And as we're talking about it, Prod uh -oh. tells us they are running it back. We are going back to Final Destination, and that guy. Still at three stocks. Didn't even get close to losing one. Carol, they are an entire player in the lead right now. The Beavers are brazen and bold, man. They they are not deterred. Daring as ever. Okay, okay. Uh, we don't know the the character that we're going to be seeing. It looks like right. the next player for the team would be Title. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who they play. But going back to FD, and we saw what the Min Min did. I, I, I think... <sighs> The, the big thing is just controlling the stage. I feel. Yeah, 100%. If, if you let that guy knock you off the stage and, and your recovery game isn't in, exactly on point, I think we're going to be looking at that lobby screen pretty quick again because that <laughs> guy was pretty scary. We, we, we did get to be pretty familiar with the lobby screen relatively quickly. That was a quick one. But I think Greninja, of course, brings a whole new moveset. I think it's kind of funny that we're getting two Pokemon in a row. That means nothing to anybody else. It just gives me a bit of a laugh. Now, title here, the name also checks out. Water type Pokemon. And we see that guy already going for the ledge guard. So this is going to be interesting. Title probably going to utilize that substitution a lot, as I say, it making an appearance. And might try to rely on that water shuriken. Uh, that might be able to help you engage a little bit. But getting a main stage presence right now, just center stage, is really what title needs to be looking for. I'd really like to see the Greninja go for dash attacks, try to get the offense going up on 88% on their first stock. Look for a substitute there. Title's going to go ahead and wait that one out. Side B gets hard punished. That guy, again, commanding the stage. Gets knocked back towards the ledge. Water Shuriken not able to do much. Up smash out of Ooh. shield, not going to get punished. That guy, again, just asserting their will on the stage right now. Yeah, that guy refusing to give up any space, and space is exactly what Title's looking for. Has to go for that low recovery, trying to oh, dodge oh. out the fist. Shield goes low. Not super small, but small enough to give you a bit of a fright. Heart rate definitely increasing after that one. Now only 50% on that guy. And the first stock almost lost from Title here. Now kissing 150, and now kissing the blast zone. First stock going to be taken to the blink of an eye. Those noodle arms are not joking around. I think this is one of the only, only times I've ever heard someone say that they don't hate to be that guy. Because <laughs> he is doing a crazy no! job right now for Carroll University. And the unfortunate SD puts title on their final stock. It's starting to look more and more dire here for B BBU. I mean, I hope the rest of Carol's roster just doesn't mind not playing. Because at this point, that guy into the second matchup still three stocks online. They're only supposed to have three stocks for this whole 3v3 matchup. But right now, that guy, 51-51, not looking to drop any of them, getting close to taking titles third stock. Yeah, the the Min Min is proving there it is. an absolute problem, and the meatball connects. That is another three stock. That guy, 51-51, really making a name for themselves here in week number three. Carol Yu. Like you said, Seb, we might not even get to see what the rest of the <laughs> roster looks like at this rate. That guy's popping off right now. I just I just hope that maybe Carol will put him not in first next time. Oh, so we can see somebody else. But the thing is, if they're all this good, you know, like we might not get to see any of them so far. Carol, I mean, that guy sending a message. Maybe the 51 stands for the highest percent somebody's ever gotten him to on FD. <laughs> because right now he is... Hardly taking hits, hardly breaking a sweat so far. Only one player left here in the first game, and we are hardly 15 minutes into the stream. Yeah, I mean, Min Min is just one of those characters to where if you don't know how to deal with the character, it can be yeah. very hard uh, to find your way in on, on offense, and especially on a stage like Final Destination where there, there there's no platform to jump to, there's no variance. That element is, is just taken off the table, so that guy just gets to stand... As Min Min literally at the center of the stage and just throw an arm out and, and say, what, where are you going to go? So I, yeah. I'm really hoping that BBU starts to exercise some of the other options in terms of stage selection. They, they need that added recovery option, I personally feel, to, yeah. to really start to make some headway in this matchup. 
I definitely agree. I think a stage with platforms, um, we could see Smashville, I think even Town and City, PS2 obviously would be great choices coming through. And the interesting thing about Smash is when you play this game, you often specialize in only one or two characters. So there may be a world where nobody on the side of BVU has kind of the appropriate, I want to call them counters, but the appropriate matchups. And it looks like we're going to be seeing, okay, so Aegis, or as I like to call it to make people mad, Pithra, you know, going to be making an appearance here. This is going to be back into this. This is kind of the final hope for BVU here in game one. Yeah, the the moment I saw that selection, I, I kind of went on this emotional roller coaster. I'm like, oh, you know, Myth Mithra is really fast, a lot of strong neutral options and whatnot, sure. But as a character overall, their recovery is a bit of a question mark. And against that guy, 5151's Min Min, who seems to be excelling at edge guarding. Yeah, right. You know, it's like there are a lot of pluses to this character selection, but on the other side... That, that con could be exploited pretty yeah. severely. I think that would be the smash equivalent of a real glass cannon. It, it, if you're able to take the momentum, if you're able to take the lead, you can really start kind of throwing around the mid min, but the second you're thrown off stage, both Pyra and Mithra are really going to struggle to make it back. So I, I think you're definitely right there. If we see anything that is an FD, I will have a little bit more faith in that choice, right? If you can utilize platforms, you can utilize Pyra's side B a lot to cover ledges. That can make a huge possibly winnable difference but right now i mean the third and final player here for bvu in game one has what i always love to call a herculean task ahead of them this is going to be a very difficult thing even if they win this one they've got to win two more and it looks like we're sticking with the ages let's see where we're going to end up i i took a look at the the chat to see where they're going i don't want to spoil it for you i know you like to be surprised but uh it's gonna be different it will be different. okay that's Thank all you. i needed to hear here we, here we... <laughs> PS2, I think this is going to be a great choice. Like I said, these platforms are going to make a big difference and already able to find 20%. So, they're, like I said, they're going to make a big difference. Question is, is that difference big enough? If this pressure is continuously kept up, this is going to be a pretty aggressive kind of turnaround, so to speak. And SP here on the Pithra are really going to be able to, if they can keep momentum, they're really able to turn this around. We can see already the ledge guarding has begun. Running out of options. Up B is only going to be able to do so much. Mithra is able to get back to the ledge. Re that guy tried to read the roll on, and another side be the remix. No. Are they, yeah, they're, they're way too low. Yeah, Pir Pyramid was not coming back from that. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was a rough one. And now we see that guy around the exact same percent they've been Ooh. every time a game comes to a close, around that 60 to 80 mark, and here we are at 77. <laughs> so maybe there's, a, maybe there's a moral victory here. Maybe they get that guy to the highest percent they've been to tonight. But this is really going to be a difficult turnaround and playing on the pyro right now such a glass cannon move like i said because if you can get in you can do damage he hits like a truck but if you get thrown off stage you're going to fall like something just as heavy as a truck so this is going to really be a tough one might be able to find at least that first stock onto that guy though pyro's kill power could definitely have a big part to play here there's the the neutral b to get the push back to the ledge no edge guarding attempt made side b comes out there's the roll on that guy gets the grab goes for the suplex Tries to meet him way up in the sky. Oh, no. Lag is going to be a no. And that's a field goal that is right through yeah. the uprights. Oh, it's good. I threw my arms up when it happened. You guys just <laughs> couldn't see me. It's it's good. I mean, able to find it just out the gate there already. That guy still on the third stock. And it's going to be SP coming in, trying to make the magic happen, getting all the way to 120%. But the ledge guard has once again began. And Mithra never making it back. Ooh. Insult to injury. Goes for the spike. And Carol you. That actually, no, not really. Just that guy. That guy, 5151, able to take out all three members of BVU. I, I know they're, they're going to hear that victory music in their dreams tonight. <laughs> like that arms music. <laughs> that guy, 5151, looking like the Iron Curtain of this crew battle. We really might not get to see what the other two players have, have to bring to the table. That that was the best outing, I would say. I also would say that the, the stage selection definitely seemed to, to play a more positive angle for them over the final destination picks. But they just have to make those adjustments. They, they, they know what they have to deal with. They know what they're up against. They, they have a bit more experience now. This is a newer team, or at the very least, they're new to ECAC. Right. On the other side of that, Carroll University, they, they're taking this pretty seriously. This is their second season. They have a coach now. They're, they're practiced. They're disciplined. And we're seeing that. And the, the results yeah. of hard work making itself apparent. But BVU just has to step up, man.
Yeah, and an unavoidable pun here, um, Carol. They are absolutely pulling no punches. They are really coming out. They're finding the value. And that guy, that guy, fifty-one, fifty-one, single-handedly walked through nine stocks, only losing one in the process because he chose to jump off the stage in an effort to get a spike. So almost flawless across the board there. And I think you said that really well. Is this is going to be a bit of you know an awakening for BBU, kind of a welcome, welcome to ECAC. These teams definitely coming in strong, sending a message. And I mean, it's been shown, Carol. They they have truly sent a message. Yeah, it's it's just a struggle because Min Min is is such a strong gatekeeping kind of character, yeah. um, more than the average in the overall roster for Smash Ultimate. Where it's like, if you don't know how to deal with like Mario, you're still playing the game. There, there, right. You got to take a lot of hits. There, there's pretty much a, a natural neutral exchange. But against Min Min, if you're not used to dealing with those arms coming at you from way off stage. It is going to be a very one-sided affair. In BBU, yeah. they now have <laughs> gained some experience, to say the very least. In this Min Min yeah. matchup, we'll, we'll see if maybe a different character selection. Um, there was the unfortunate SD for, for KK's Pikachu, where the, the second part of the up B didn't happen. So, you know, that game itself was pretty abbreviated. If they're able to kind of tighten those things up, maybe they can get past the Min Min and, and start to think about getting a game three. Absolutely. And uh, it's actually going to be great here. We see um, Carol, they're going to be kind enough to start off somebody else. So Honduras is going to be making an appearance going up against SP, who we just saw on the Pithra. So this is going to be exciting. I, if, if if Honduras also locks Min Min, I might lose my mind, but I'm hoping <laughs> they bring something else to the table. I think it'd be very exciting if we see a new character coming out. And I'd like to see a stage that is an FD. I really did enjoy seeing, uh, po or yeah, I, re I really did enjoy seeing Pokemon Stadium 2 there. I thought it was interesting. And I would love to see Smash Smashville or Town and City just because I love Animal Crossing, so. I I, I do like that we're seeing the the, the shakeup in in the overall order. I that would be an emotional roller coaster in and of itself. It's like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna start off with Honduras this time. All right, all right, cool. Min Min, like. You just you just see my webcam turn off. My microphone <laughs> cuts out. I'm done. I'm going home. Like, after. I'm already at home. I'm just done if that happens. Really? No, that would be uh, that would be all about sending a message. I talked about that earlier. That would be that'd be one way to do it. Hey, we doubled our roster. Guess what? All six of us are Min Min players. So you got you guys have a great season ahead of you. So the the second game is going to be starting off on a different note. I'm taking a look at the the picks and bands. Not only will see you be starting with a different player, we're going to be going to a stage that we have not yet seen in action, nice. and that's going to be Town and City. Hey. Uh, I think this is going to be a great stage selection uh, for BVU. While the, the blast zones on the sides are, are shorter than the average stage, right. you do have the, the added oh. platforms, more of an opportunity to get back on the stage. And it's a larger stage, so there's, there's more space to play with. But the Ridley selection set, okay. Yeah, not not every day you play Ridley here. So this is going to be a really interesting choice coming out. Carol, they're going to be able to really, really bring the heat with Honduras here. SP, we just saw on the Pyramid through the ages uh, just a couple of minutes ago. They were there to round out that previous matchup. But Carol, I mean, if if Honduras is anything like that guy, this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be a quick and still has not taken any damage. Finds the back air to put this Pithra already up to 90. Now, Cephalus, anytime I see a Ridley player this far into the lifespan of Smash Ultimate, I think of one one of two things. Either, oh, this player is new. They must not know that Ridley's not that great a character. Like, they have some stuff, but... Or, that person knows exactly what they're doing to Ridley, and they are extremely yeah. dangerous. Like, yeah. there's almost no in-between. And I think we're starting to see the latter of that out of Honduras. He's doing rather well right now. Yeah, Honduras was one of those people coming out from all the way before Smash 4. They were like, I want Ridley, I want Ridley, and they finally got it. And they were like, I'm, I'm going to main Ridley forever. So that's, <laughs> that's how we ended up this far back with that Ridley. But the first stock could end up just as far away there. SP taken off in that left blast zone. Like Aloran mentioned earlier, the blast zone's on the sides a little bit closer than some other traditional stages. And it looks like Honduras already looking to take advantage of that once again. Triple up air there, finding 66%. Goes for the little back air as well. All the way up to 70. Ooh. Finds it, trying to find them off that blast. On. If I've noticed one thing about Carol, they love to ledge guard. They really like to make sure their opponent cannot come back into it. I mean, it, it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's done for wonders sure. for them thus far. The up smash gets gets interrupted by BBU. SP starting to fight their way back. With Pyro out, all they need is a, a solid forward smash or, or some decent hit to be able to take the first stock of Ridley, who's, who is on a lighter side. But that up air will pick up stock number two. SP down to their last. 
Can they get one on the board for BVU? I mean, at the course we're seeing this happen so far, it is looking like Carol, they're going for that mythical 18 and 0. If this just happens exactly the way it did beforehand on Karis looking to take not three stocks, but nine of them, three players out. Ooh. Here comes that final stock, the triple forward air, oh. and it finds the kill. Pithras recovery, just not good enough. Yeah, in that situation, if you get your jump taken as Pyramithra, it's going to be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to get back. Now, for context there, it was Carroll University that selected town and, and city, and I really like the, the thinking there, because yeah. Ridley, can, his, his recovery can be exploited to a degree, so having the platforms, adding the, having the added horizontal range, I think really plays to the strengths of that character. And Honduras did a really good job of just making the most out of the real estate on that stage, whether it was edge guarding or just moving across, sharking the platforms as well. Honduras is really was really solid. I, I like it. I agree. I agree. And I think that I think you were completely on the first comment you made about when Town and City when we saw it was the smaller blast zones on the side and Honduras did nothing but take full advantage of that, right? <laughs> Constantly off stage. Three kills in a row, just never letting that Aegis return. I think that really made a big difference. So I wonder if that's gonna be the FD of the, this round here. If Honduras is gonna try to go town and city every game. Let's see. Um so we we, we had the Pyramithra that was first. Uh the, there's KK's Pikachu. I'm not sure who's gonna be playing next. For, for BVU. But the, the matchups overall, I do feel, will be better for BVU in terms of dealing with the Ridley as opposed to Min Min. Uh, Pikachu, you know, one, one of Ridley's foils is, is that he can be combo food in addition to being yeah. really lightweight. And Pikachu can really take advantage of that. So maybe yeah. we can see KK um, really start to do some work here. Oh, do you see this character selection? What is today? What yeah, is no, going on? I, I had never cast a Min Min. I've never cast an Isabel. They're all showing up today. Now, Seth, I gotta tell you, I would call myself an Isabel main. Isabel can I, do some stuff, especially I in his matchup. I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, she, she's got a great opportunity here on the matchup. I like what you said earlier. Uh, Ridley can often find himself being that combo food, right? And Isabel, a little bit of side B here and there, a little bit of offstage game. And I think the Isabel swap makes a lot of sense as well because the recovery, as long as you're not caught, you know, underneath your opponent, pretty darn good. I, I really would like to see some, some up tilts. Isabel's combo game is much better than I think a lot of people give the cre character credit sure. for. Tried to go for the yoink on the side oh. stage. Off the stage, you know. Idol goes for the dash attack, gets in, roll in for Honduras. And we're okay. just, we're seeing oh, oh, so many we're times. Going Tidal, Tidal keeps going for those low recoveries, and one of the times Honduras is going to catch it out. Now, I've got to say, this is the closest we've seen somebody on the side of Buena Vista uh, have their first stock the longest and keep it the closest. Now, only about 20% separating the two. I mean, Tidal's got a great opportunity here. Even though they lose the first, Honduras is in a spot for their first to be taken relatively quickly. And that down B gonna be able to catch it. That down special is gonna be able to pick it up. Goes fishing once again, trying to pull them in, but they're able to spike it out of the way. Honduras now gonna get caught out. That is the ugliest fish I've ever seen. It's more like a pterodactyl <laughs> than anything. Honduras battling back. 133 on this first stock still. Make that 144. Uh, a, fi a fishing rod angled up at this, at this percentage would be the kill and title did not go for that yeah that, at 176 that's, uh, for sure if you just hold up on the the fishing rod they, they are out yeah no i kind of caught that as well title i don't think it's up thrown a single time actually which is interesting because they've landed the throw or the grab excuse me four or five maybe even six times at this point so to see them choose not to utilize up throw which i think is technically her strongest throw in terms of knockback and whatnot um i really am curious as to what the thought process on that may be well Hey, the the kill. fourth throw does pick up the stock. That is that is the beginning. Can title keep this momentum going? Slingshot could also be a, a, a huge pain in Ridley's side. Nair gets shielded up. Title starting to move in. Dash attack forward. Tilt afterwards. Honduras takes control of the stage yet again. Cooks him on the way in. Oh no! <sighs> I, I, there have been some bold choices, and I cannot believe some of them have worked out. But Title able to pocket a little bit of fire as well. I think went to pocket it again, but just let up the one they had down to one balloon. Barely able to make it back to the ledge. Thank the Magnet hands here in the game. Really wants that popper, but instead walks right into it. Honduras still able to find that. They're only losing one stock in the process. We, we got to see some Isabel. 
True. And and a stock was taken. BVU is starting to make some progress here, but it all comes down to KK and perhaps the Pikachu, unless they take a different character. They're gonna have some work to do. They gotta go through yeah. two stocks on on Ridley. Honduras is looking very solid themselves. And, and you know that guy's Min Min is lurking in the water somewhere. That, that's that's a solid anchor in a crew battle format, if I, if I dare it, say so. It's so funny because every time you say that guy, I like forget that's a player. And I'm like, what are you talking like, Oh, right, that, that, that guy. guy. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a terrifying thought. I think you're completely right to uh, you know, first you have to break through Honduras here on the Ridley. And then after that, you, it, it's like we're going, it's like we're playing a Dark Souls game. It doesn't get any easier <laughs> after the first one. It might just get a little bit harder. <laughs> You died. <laughs> yeah, that's. I, I think that's how uh, a couple of folks are starting to feel. Unfortunately, that it really feels like we're looking at a Dark Souls fight. The the, the Isabel main and me wants to wants to offer some pointers because the, there's a lot Isabel can do in that matchup. Yeah, I, I, I might have to start coaching BB a little bit, <laughs> get, them, get them up to speed. They, they they they've they've earned a spot in my favor for for the the Isabel pick alone. Yeah, for busting out the Isabel. Believe it or not, you're the second Isabel main I've ever met, and I just met the other one last month. So this is like a new we're, thing. And we're out there. Out of all, yeah, I mean, just just the numbers may be small, but they are mighty. If I have learned one thing. Now this is um, gonna be. I, I like what you mentioned earlier. It's gonna be Pikachu and Ridley. This is gonna be a difficult matchup for the Ridley if the Pikachu combo game makes an appearance like it should. It comes down to the neutral there, in my opinion. If, if KK is able to establish. Uh, their, their ability to get into the advantage state using that. There, there's a lot of combo potential on the board here for a character like Pikachu. But Honduras has showed that they, they're really solid at, at spacing themselves properly. They are no stranger to, to playing Ridley and really trying right. to minimize some of the, the weaknesses of the character in terms of their, in terms of their hitbox. And a forward smash almost picks up stock number one at 73. Yeah, I think that's also going to be a bit of an issue here for KK. We talked about the combo game onto Ridley, but if you can't get close enough, if you can't start a combo, Pikachu is, I mean, way as much as a thumbtack. So they've got to be super careful <laughs> on the engagements here. It's going to be that slow push into the Ooh. mid stage, and sometimes a little bit of a tilt attack, forward attack is all it takes. Goes for the immediate down B. I love, I love the idea there. Pulled it a little bit too high, but still these down airs seem to be KK's favorite move. She's landed, I think, every single one she's gone for. They're connecting, man. See if they're going to be able to keep it going. I don't think fire is a weakness to electric type, but these forward smashes are proven <laughs> to be a problem in the half for, for KK's Pikachu. Nair train lands a couple of times, juice the thunder as well. Yeah, the okay. thunder is going to get blocked out. It's going to be BVU. Oh, a bit of a catch out there. Goes for the side beam, and oh, the end lag on that is way too long to be trying to pull that midair. And Honduras has clearly shown us they're a player far, far too intelligent to be falling for things like a side B out in the middle of the stage. A, a character trait that I'm seeing in general of how Carroll University is playing Ooh. Smash Ultimate is their their threat range seems to be much larger Infinite. than BVU's expecting. <laughs> Like Car Carroll University, they're they're not afraid to go off stage. Not a great. They're not afraid to go up to the top and right. go for these up airs, up airs like we've seen Honduras pull off. And this could be it. Oh, ouch! Had now it hurts. Time to like... wind it up. Ouch is the only word I've got there. That that really does hurt. That is not going to be exactly what you're looking for. And that's. Hmm, I mean, that is just another cleanup crew coming out from Honduras. Was that? That was three in a row already. That that is that is six matchups in a row. Honduras and that guy just so weep in the floor. I I, I really got to commend Carroll University's ability to uh, really improve. I mean, this is their 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 second season. They have a coach. Yeah. Um, and and when you have these dominant performances. It, it, it's easy to say like, oh, like that's a really good team. Yeah. But I think on that, the yeah. other side of that is just you're you're looking at a team that is actively working to be as good as they possibly can be. Yeah. So no. when, when you see such strong performances, I, I think, you know, talent is definitely a part of it. But there's also a lot of hard work that goes into being that efficient and that aggressive and, and, and that dominant in Smash Ultimate. So props to them for their hard work. BVU is getting an example of, of what level of play they themselves will need to aspire to. They're more than capable of doing that themselves. They, they see the level of competition. They just got to start picking it up.
Absolutely. You know, you've got to think maybe Carol is playing on the Legion Y25 monitor. And yes, this is a segue into an ad. <laughs> nice. So the Legion Y25 monitor delivers wins in the toughest, most critical situations with its extreme 1MS response time. That Which is absurd, by the way. This is not in the ad read. That's just me saying that is absolutely absurd. My monitors certainly don't do that. Anyway, with its extreme 1MS response time to its insane 240 hertz refresh rate, the Legion Y25 doesn't just keep up, but does a lot more. Built for those engaged in vast, Multiplayer battles at the tournament level. The Legion Y25 offers a 24.5 inch FHD IPS panel with built-in NVIDIA G-Sync. I'm going to pretend I know what all of those things mean. Compatibility <laughs> as well. The Legion Y25 monitor is available at Lenovo.com and other retailers as well. If you want to play like we just saw Carroll University, uh, that's the way to do like it. That can definitely help you out. Uh, I believe we we are the, we're going to take a, a short break, I believe. Is that, is that what I Yeah, heard? I think we're going to throw it to a super quick break. I think we're going to get an interviewee in here from Carol, and we'll be right back in just a couple of minutes. I'm going in there. And I promise I'm trying to before you count me out, homie. Let me remind you, they was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to cap them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rich. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing! The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, cap them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents, they were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like canned food, try and tell me what I can't do, I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood, I mean I got goals that's real big, foes that's real big, y'all offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big. I gotta do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? 
I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. What sound experience would you like to have? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Except and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Say, trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Say, trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs. Like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie. Must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. What sound experience would you like to have? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Say, trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. 
I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Welcome back. Welcome back to week three of the ECAC fall 2021 season. We just had a very explosive, very dominant performance here from Carroll University. We were able to defeat their opponents over at BVU in a solid 2-0 fashion set. Not only do we get a chance to see how they play, but we're going to get a chance to speak with them as well. We're going to get get a chance to speak with the, the menace of final destination themselves. <laughs> That guy, 5151, uh, big congratulations on your victory here. Thank uh, you. <laughs> I, I love that you have the, the Carroll University Esports uh, jersey because I, I feel like that's a, a great segue into the question or some of the questions that I have for you. I know this is your second season now in ECAC. Uh, How has your team evolved from season one to season two? In what ways do you guys feel you've improved? We've definitely evolved a lot. Uh, first season, um, we all played completely different characters. Uh, like, I think game one, I played, uh, of, of season one, I played Roy and Rob, <laughs> which is wildly different from Min Min. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> and I also... Uh, I secondary Steve right now, and I used to main him during season one, and then during the summer between seasons, I was just like, Vivid's kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it it really do be that easy sometimes. Sometimes you just look at a character and you're like, well, I might as well. Yeah. I love to hear that you play Steve, though. I love to watch competitive Steves. I think that is a blast. I can't do it myself, but I, yeah. I think it's awesome. I, I wish I could be, like, top-level Steve. But it's not sure. awful, Steve. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So I want to ask you a question um, a little bit less about today, because there's really not much to ask about today, <laughs> and a little more about kind of the season as a whole. So um, I brought this up to you before we kind of went live. You seemed a little hesitant. I'm really curious what your answer is going to be. I really want to know how you feel about your team's kind of chances of walking away with this season or walking away victorious toward the end of it. And if you feel a little worried, I'm curious as to why. I'm curious what schools you're worried about. Um, I can't. I'm not sure. I didn't follow which schools won, <laughs> but like, sure, sure. Uh, just like comparing last season to this season we didn't do the best last season so i'm i'm hesitantly optimistic about our chances but i don't want to be like overconfident i i go into every game nervous during the season i'm just <laughs> constantly on edge <laughs> those nerves certainly did not show today let me tell you what losing one stock because you chose to take it from yourself <laughs> i mean that, that's i did not see nerves for within 10 miles of that <laughs> I, yeah, but I, my thing is just don't get overconfidence. Just play cautiously when you when you need to, and yeah, <laughs> and then go ham when you when you got him. Okay, yeah, I like, I like it. One of the things I think is really cool about your team is that you guys. It says you go you guys go for weekly D and D sessions. Yes, so we try coach. to. Yeah, we all we all try to play D and D together as a group. <laughs> And, uh, that, that's pretty... really cool to me because that means that you guys are friends outside of just playing Smash. A, a question that I have for you is how does your participation in Carroll University Esports accent your overall experience in college? Uh, I think it makes it a lot of fun because, like, it's, you know, some people could go to college and just do the college work, get the degree, and, like, all respect to it you got to respect your education, but having this as an extra is just so much fun. <laughs> yeah. and I'm, I'm really glad you have stuff like that to, to, to add to the overall experience. In season one, you said that you guys didn't do as well as you had hoped. Was that a, a motivator for your team to, to come back stronger in the next season? Uh, definitely for me, because like my viewpoint is like, 
if you did poorly, then like use the disappointment in that performance to motivate yourself to improve. And that's just like my philosophy with lots of things. If I do bad on a test, that's the sign that I need to work harder. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, and uh, I do have a question. You talked about kind of the team improving and doing a little bit better and whatnot. So I want to ask, um, nothing to do with you, entirely to do with Honduras, your, your team partner. Has they, have they always been a Ridley player? Uh, uh, Halloran and I were talking about this earlier. Halloran and I were kind of discussing. Is that is that like a from release of the game situation? Um, I don't think so. He, um, he came to us playing Inkling, and then he switched – to Ridley around. And wow. Yeah, he's he's not. This is his first season on the team, so he's not sure who he's going to main concrete. But Inkling and Ridley are pretty. I mean, the there. Ridley's looking good to say the least. <laughs> I mean, the Ridley's looking good. It got the job done for sure. Yeah. Uh, Seth, you got you got any other questions for for our winner here? That guy. I did. I said one more. Again, nothing to do with Smash. You mentioned playing D and D. What class do you play? Oh, uh, this time I pl I am playing a paladin. Okay. Uh, a okay. high elf paladin. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. I like that. I like that. Middle of the road. Yeah. yeah middle of the road. That's that's good. All that's right. all. That's it. All. That's all I've got. All right. All right. <laughs> I think that is going to round it out. I do have one final question for you, that guy, before we before we let you go. How how would it feel to go from not having the the performance that you would have wanted to in season one to taking the whole thing in season two? What would that mean for you individually as a player and competitor? Uh, it's feeling very good. I I was talking to the team during in between, and I was like. I kind of feel bad doing this much because, like, yeah, it's just kind of tricky. <laughs> you feel bad, but, like, not that bad, you know, because yeah. you're still winning, yeah, right? I like, it's like... myself on the back, but <laughs> yeah, absolutely. never feel bad for working hard and, and doing well. Very true. Man. Congratulations to you, you and your team. I hope you continue to have a dominant season, and I can't wait to see you guys again. But for now, Thank that, you. that's going to be you. it. Wow, I'm really glad we got a chance to, to speak with that guy. He's a, he's I a really cool dude. I like the that's I like that. that he used the word philosophy. Anyone that thinks about how to approach life, always a big fan. I'm always a big fan of that. So I, I yeah, they made a fan out of me. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, th that's usually my favorite part of doing things like this is really getting to know the players and kind of getting to know them off screen as well as on screen. So you can watch somebody win over and over. And like, of course, that's fun. But to know they've put in the work, to know how much it really means to them, that just adds a whole new layer for me personally. So I'm really glad we, we get to interview at least one of them. Yeah, I, I really like that, that he said that he, you know, he felt bad that he was doing so well. And I think it's just a, a good opportunity to reiterate the idea that as players, everyone's just all on the same path of improvement. Absolutely. BVU can get exactly to the level that Carroll University is. It's just a matter of putting in the time. And we'll see over the course of the season if they're going to be able to make those adjustments. But for week three, for Smash Ultimate, that's going to do it here. Be sure to tune in for the rest of the week. We got Valorant, a bunch of other games. You get, you definitely want to get involved and check that stuff out. But for now, that's going to be it. I'm Haloran. Seth and Lance, it's been fun to cast with you, man. This, this is really cool. Absolutely. This was a blast. I love this. This is um, the only Smash Ultimate that I'm casting right now. So this is always like a little bit of the highlight of my week. And there's only three of us between me, you, and Ravish. So the odds of me getting to, getting to cast some Smash every week is, is pretty awesome. But yeah, like Lauren said, thank you everybody so much for watching. A huge shout out to the teams for coming. And at least one of us, maybe both of us, we'll see you guys next week. But for the time being, check your posture, drink some water, and don't forget to love each other. Enjoy the rest of your night. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Cap them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood I mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides.
Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big. I got to do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Count them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can 